Okay, so we have number four. Can't see it very well. The number four on there. Can't see it very well because, again, my camera sucks dick. But, um, I couldn't even clean that stuff off very good. I, I let that soak in freaking degreaser. It didn't come off. Anyway, let's get back to the topic here. Uh, clocking your pistons. This is number one. It's on there somewhere. Yeah, number one. I even marked, marked them with a punch before I saw this. So it's kind of funny. They were covered in so much grease that you couldn't see them. But... The clock your pistons, uh, there's a little arrow on top of your pistons, I'm not sure if you guys can see mine, but there's a little arrow right there, can you see it? Can't see it on screen, but you can probably see it on camera, eh, there we go. Little arrow there points to the front of the engine, okay? The way that I deal with clocking my pistons is almost like a north, south, east, west type deal. You can do north, south, east, west to where your number one compression, compression uh, ring is completely opposite of your number two and your rails do the same thing on the opposite axes so if you were to think about it if you were to go north south east west and just rotate that what like 45 degrees that's pretty much essentially what I did um, now you can do it you know north south east west but I'm not sure how it's gonna really work with your uh, with your uh, crankshaft moving up and down in the piston articulating that way. Everything I've seen has been off center, so I try to keep mine off center so that way you don't get piston rings, you know, uh, wobbling in weird ways. So anyway, I just decided to do that real quick and show you guys how to actually put the piston ring compressor on. So here's your piston, here's your compressor. It's actually ridiculously too big right now but it's not that big of a deal we already know that these are clocked right we're going to double check to make sure they are clocked right okay this is how I'm double checking um, it's north and south and here's east over here this side here which is kind of close to that gap but west so, so um, almost everyone is completely opposite of the other so that's really good we're just gonna go ahead and button this up take your piston ring compressor you can actually make it a little bit smaller so you don't have to click it so much but I love the sound so much I just had to do it this way now if you get paranoid that you might have you know moved your gaps when you did this uh, easy way to deal with it is just to take it off and check and another thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that this is almost level and flush against the piston so that way none of your rings are sticking out. Um, put a little bit of area for your skirt to poke through so you can line it up with your board a little bit easier. But do that, put it on tight, and she should be just about ready to install. And then, yeah, it's going to be tight just because of the fact that uh, your rings are pushing against it. Okay, if you have a, a higher end car, like a BMW, with those really expensive plasma molly tri-metal bearing tri-metal rings yeah those don't put a lot of pressure on the uh, cylinder wall so you won't need to tighten it up as much but with a regular Ford damn you're supposed to oil them too before you do that get some oil or some ETF and put it around the outside and then stick it in your freaking cylinder I didn't oil that uh, probably because some, when you oil it it takes longer for the seats to seal uh, to seat and butt up so I mean it, it takes a really long time I kind of would rather do it this way but this is a Ford I'm thinking I'm gonna have to oil that up to make sure it gets some lubrication um, I know that uh, in other applications you don't have to oil them but I'm probably gonna take that off and oil it anyway I hope that helps you guys um, feel free to like and subscribe after we finish these I still have two more cylinders to do I'm kind of annoyed right now. Honestly, I'm probably just going to call it a day. Uh, until later on today, actually. Do my last two cylinders and then freaking uh, start on an oil pump. So we can start getting this thing ready and as a complete uh, rotating assembly. Anyway, for free, like to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys are at it. Jesus.